Oh, oh, joystick support. Oh, joystick. No, 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 no. Damn. Trench, just. They're, they're coming to your side. They're coming to your side. That way. Wait, I'm gonna go. Good I'm gonna stop, go. Good stop. Good stop. For a second. Perfect, buddy. Perfect. Go plant. Go plant. Go plant. Go plant. Oh, Lent is right here. Right. He's right there. He literally struck. Thanks for the res. Enemies have been wiped Good out. Stuff. Nicely done. Hello everyone, I'm Garbo, and today we're going to talk about utility cooldowns. I know I brought it up in a previous video that I pretty much think that utility spam is going to go away. I still kind of feel like this is still going to happen. Um, it just really depends on all the cooldowns and stuff like that. But we're about to dive into that and look at the actual proper cooldowns of everything now, making sure it has actual cooldown timers when you upgrade them to epic and whatnot. How strong the gadgeteer perk actually really will be when you actually start using this gadgeteer perk on all your utilities. So let's go ahead and hop into it, guys. <clears throat> so I'm going to actually go down and then work my way up on the utilities and that's because I've already worked on a little overlay and I've already got so far in it and I didn't want to swap it over onto the other screenshot so we're gonna go down and then move our way up so we're gonna go pop smoke grenades have a 40 second cooldown time with an epic reduced cooldown time by 10 regeneration fields have a 60 second cooldown time with a rare duration increase from 10 seconds to 20 seconds and then rare will also uh, raise the health per second increase from ten, five seconds to ten, uh, from five to ten. My, my apologies. And then epic reduces cooldown by ten percent. I still haven't seen the regeneration field. I don't know what game mode it's in. So y'all let me know what game mode regeneration field's in. So APS is going to have a sixty second cooldown. Uh, upgrading it to rare negates one additional projectile. So now I'll be able to reject two per APS system. And then an epic will reduce the cooldown time by 10% and it will now negate two more additionals. So all day for an epic APS system you'll be able to negate four utilities. I don't know yet if that's overpowered or not. We'll have to see it in actual gameplay. It's, that's a little uh, that's a little far-fetched for me again maybe three per APS was good but actually giving it an additional two more might actually bust the APS system. Alright, so Adrenaline Shot is 60 second cooldown with an epic reduced cooldown by 10%. And then Cluster Smoke is a 40 second cooldown. It does not have any epic reduced cooldown times. That's because it's Fixer's Smoke Grenade. And I think it just increases the duration of his smoke and allows him to produce three clusters of smoke instead of two. So that's probably why that's not in that text. Uh, Tear Gas Grenade is a 40 second cooldown. Epic reduces cooldown by 10%. Sticky Sensors is a 40 second cooldown. Epic reduces cooldown by 10%. Flashbang Grenades are going to be 60 second cooldown with an Epic reduced cooldown by 10%. Smoke Grenades um, are going to be 40 second cooldown with an Epic reduced cooldown by 10%. C4 is going to be a 60 second cooldown with no uh, benefits as again because C4 you actually throw it, it'll, it'll increase your throw duration and it actually increases the damage so that's the reason why C4 doesn't have an Epic reduced cooldown. <laughs> Uh, Trip Minus has a 60 second cooldown. Epic reduces cooldown by 10%. I really don't like that, but you know, Trip Minds are Trip Minds. So. <laughs> Bounce Grenades, uh, 75 second cooldown. Incendiary Grenades, 75 second cooldown. Grenades, 75 second cooldown. And Simtek Grenades, 75 second cooldowns. And all these have different things that, like, you know, increases your bounce, increases the explosive radius, increases your damage output. So, those are the reasons why those also have no epic reduced cooldown times. And I'm kind of happy with that because, for real, at the end of the day, 75 seconds for those utilities is perfect. Um, again, there's still ways to kind of like reduce your cooldown time. Purchasing the Gadgeteer Perk will do that for you, it'll help you out and stuff like that. But overall, those four utilities. I feel like don't need to be you know what they didn't say in here where is impact grenades huh they did not say anything about impact grenades in this utility okay besides that uh, 
besides the gadget cooldown, all gadgets will now get on a cooldown the same way abilities do. Each gadget has a different cooldown range from 40 to 75. All gadget upgrades that used to give you an extra gadget will now reduce your cooldown by 10%. Resupply has been replaced with a perk called Gadgeteer, which reduces gadget cooldown by 5, 10, and 15%. So guys, um, besides all the updates on the utilities, I've also made a diagram of pretty much the percentages and how much it actually takes away from your utilities and how much it actually gives you at the end of the day actually once you reduce those cooldown times. So we're going to go from 75 because again, like 75 is our highest one. So we'll do... If the person has the Gadgeteer perk, 15%, which is actually going to be restocked. They don't have a legendary Gadgeteer. They've added Gadgeteer into the restock perk, so that's what makes that legendary at the end of the day. So for a 15%... A reduction for your 75 cooldown time will actually take away 11 seconds so that will actually reduce all of your utilities that are running on 75 second cooldowns to 64 which is actually really good that considers Mac and that would be considering a uh, switchblade because both of those run a restock and they both have bounce grenades and grenades so that will reduce both of their utilities down to 64 which is actually pretty good for them um, that, because again for Mac grenades are more like a skill for throwing the grenades and then with switchblade she's really squishy so like even though she might get that bounce grenade thrown off and everything if she's in a lane where she's covered she will still die from that okay so having the epic gadgeteer perk for 75 so that'll be a 10 percent reduction that takes away seven so that will actually make your utility cooldown go down to 68 which is actually pretty good um again depending on what you're running the incendiary grenades and the uh bounce grenades and all that like that's still really good it's still really high up there but that's fine again you don't want the cooldown times to be excessively to where it just drops into where there's none then nothing so i actually enjoy that all right so 75 for five percent for the rare gadgeteer it only takes away three seconds off the cooldown time so it'll only go from 75 to 72 on your cooldown times so at the end of the day is the gadgeteer perk rare gonna be actually worth it uh maybe just you know it just depends i guess it's situational if you need three seconds to be able to throw your utility to save you or whatnot but it's just questionable for me all right so now we're going to go down to the 60 cooldown time so with the restock part which i don't feel like anybody with a 60 cooldown time oh wait never mind because you know flash bangs so again this will go back to switchblade so 60 to 15 percent will take away nine seconds off the 60 which will make it at 51 second which is actually really powerful and i'm pretty sure you can knock the cooldown times with your flashbang with that as well so woo, that's actually pretty bad so Without the actual epic uh, reduced cooldown time, you can reduce it down to 51 seconds. So 60 into the epic gadgeteer perk takes away 10%. So you're actually taking away 6 seconds off of 60 and you end up with 54 seconds. Um, again, it's okay. <clears throat> And then again, 5% for the rare gadgeteer will take away 3 seconds and it'll actually move you from 60 to 57. Alright guys, so for 40, so 15% for 40 will take away 6 seconds and it will reduce from 40 to 34 for gadgeteer perks. And this will be Mac with his APS system. So that will actually take away only 6 seconds for him because he's the only one with APS that has a restock. <clears throat> Alright, so... A epic 10 gadget 10 percent on gadgeteer takes away four seconds off of 40, and that'll put you at 36 seconds. And then for a five percent for the gadgeteer perk will take away two seconds from 40, and that'll make it 38. So this is not even including purchasing or uh, increasing everything up for the cooldown times. So for example, if you purchased a uh, if you purchased flashbangs for 60 seconds, you purchase the restock perk for switchblade, you take away 15, you take away nine seconds, so that goes down to 51, and then you max out your flashbang and you get another 10%. So that's taking away another six. So for again with that, you go from 51, take away six more, and then that actually takes you down to 45 seconds for your flashbangs, which is actually pretty busted in a way. That would probably be bad. So we'll have to watch out for like certain characters like switchblade with flashbang grenades. Um, because again she has the master restock perk so she would probably be a little dangerous with that um, but the other perks that are kind of like that again you, you're only taking away again if they're epic gadgeteer with an epic cooldown and they're 60 you're only taking away six two times so that's 12 so 60 from 12 is what do you get from 60 from 12 <clears throat> oh god I'm having issues adding right now I think it's 48 <coughs> So that's a 48 cooldown time, which is actually really good, you know. Like again, per, so Gadgeteer kind of 
like promotes you to do that because again your your utilities are also going to have some cooldown times so that all helps you out at the end of the day and I really like that um, again it's more questionable on the line if that's actually going to be a do or die situation um, again at the end of the day I don't feel like this is busted um, because I mean if you think about it demolition rounds only last for a minute and a half to two minutes three minutes tops and you know depending on when you throw those utilities you may get one back but you're not you know what I mean you're not throwing two back to back on top of somebody so like you throw a flashbang on somebody they're blind and then you throw another one to make sure that they stay blind so you can push up on them and take them out so you can only do one flashbang and that might give them enough time for them to make that angle so again having to see utilities later on in the match than like just back to back sequences is really nice and I feel like that would be more tactical in a way because again if somebody actually gets their sim text back and within 75 seconds of them using it from before and that comes out of nowhere it's going to make you you know it's going to it's not just two sim text back to back I would rather face some sim tech here and there where you know I can actually be able to get out of the way or something like that and then vice versa so again I kind of enjoy the cooldown times I want to see some actual gameplay with the cooldown times because I haven't actually you know fiddled with the gadgeteer and fiddled and leaning into like maxing out only one utility I kind of enjoy purchasing both utilities and stuff like that so y'all let me know in the comment section down below what do y'all think about the utility cooldown system did this video help y'all out on how to understand on the cooldown system like how many seconds are being reduced off if it was actually infor like infor informative enough for you and that you understand it and you enjoyed it let me know in the comment section down below if you haven't liked the video or subscribed to the channel, I would appreciate if you do one of those things. I'm always trying to upload content every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And the like and subscribe promotes me to make more content. Alright guys, I'm going to cut straight to the video. I hope y'all enjoy the gameplay, and I hope to see y'all in the next video. Peace out, and y'all have a great day. Turn fast, buddy. Turn fast. Go plant, go plant, go plant, go plant, go plant. I want to be the next SNL cast member. Here's why I should be a contender. Hey Lord Michael, I'm Jake Novak and I'm, I don't know the rest of the words. But um, I heard the roster lost um, Katie, Kyle, what's his name, and P. And, um, and, and that, that leaves an open seat and I feel I ought to be feeling it. Um, those are my jam, bro. But um, it seems like happy had me Oh, Lent is right here. Right. He's right there. He's literally struck. Thanks for the res. Enemies have been wiped Good out. Stuff. Nicely done. Um, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna literally find that video on my phone and start playing it just to annoy all y'all. Oh my like, I wanna be the god, I suck at this. Double, fuck man. Oh, behind us, behind us. Damn it. Behind you, behind you, behind you. Never mind, never mind. Two, two walk fast. Red me. Red me. Never mind. Damn. Oh, fuck. Most of can back shots and front shots. He can do anything. Yeah, look, you got this. You gotta kill two people. They're both down that hallway, by the way. Grab the bomb and go back up here. Never mind. Okay, wait till you wait till you have your knife, throw your knife at the floor. It, wait till you have your knife and just throw it. I like that's your best bet. They crushed us. I wanna be the next one. Be feeling it, cause when it comes to comedy songs, I'm not the killer. See we the music videos are my jam, bro. I'm a rapper, I'm a hand me nine with Lin Manuel Miranda. Mix with Sammy Bird, but having you heard I'm more than a rapper. Don't die, I'm a rapper too, so here's a couple of nice guys getting their jackets after, after you. After, after you. you. Okay, I'm gonna stop that and play the game. I can't move! No! Don't get out of there. Uh, yeah, I can do shit. On your back, on your back. Lens is coming around. Lens is coming around towards you. Towards you. And Saint is as well. Saint is as well. Ah, uh, you don't have your drone, I'm guessing. It's chill, bro. Good shots! Oh, oh, same, same. Oh, thing. you're screwed, you're screwed. Okay, dive, nice! Good stuff, bro, good stuff. Oh, it's all chill, it's all chill. It's like, imagine Lancer running around, shotgun to you, just rolls over and you're dead. 
No coming back. Can we get a reveal? Thank you. Already got it. What? I love this thing. Let's go, guys. Oh, Let's go. oh fucking the other. Yeah, yeah, I'm dead. Oh, uh, no, you. Oh. Uh... Guys, push up to me. Push up to me. Push up to me. Who the fuck scammer is calling me? Here we go. Alright, let's push down, push down. Oh, shoot. Oh my gosh! Sniper? I never know. Yes, yes, sniper or what the fuck. Move this way. I fucking hate that sniper, bro. I got, I just, I've died so many times to run way. It's She's like on half, she's on half, she's on half. You got this, you got this, you got this. Good stuff, Ronin's about to die. Can you wreck me? You're welcome. Thank I'm you okay. so much, bro. I've never I seen uh, Garbo's character. You got that running. Enemies eliminated. Nice. I want to be the next. Oh, the brother, no, they're over here. Oh, oh fucking runway, dude. Andrew. Fuck it. Then you okay? She's right there, she's gonna get- Oh no, Saint's down, you're chill. You're chillin'! Lancers, um, I hit her twice. Do not go for that, do not go for that. Just try and res me. Just try and res- Damn. Res me, res me, res me, res me. If they weren't behind me, I would've fucking killed Lancer. Jesus Christ, dude. I suck, I suck so bad at this fucking game. Oh god, damn trash. There's nothing you could have done, but they were double pushing. I got one of them low. I'm gonna roll to the other side of the table and sprint out of there. Ah, I was so trash.